Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys something pretty amazing. So in front of me, as you can see, I have my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus sitting right here, and then I have an regular PC monitor here connected to it. And as you can see, uh, the entire phone is in fact projected into a desktop-like environment. So this is known as the Samsung DeX functionality. And of course, some of you guys are quickly going to wonder, am I going to be able to play games? Yes, as you can see, I'm playing a game on the Samsung DeX in super high definition using my mouse as the actual controller. And of course, I'm going to be coming back to the games. But for now, let me show you how to set up Samsung DeX to accomplish all this beauty. Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. So basically to accomplish this functionality, all you need is one little cable. And that's it, then magic happens. So as you can see at the bottom here, I have a USB type C cable uh, connected into my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. And then this cable rolls around and goes into the HDMI in port of my uh, monitor, which is right over here. So as soon as you make the connection happen, uh, the phone is gonna prompt you to project itself onto the actual monitor, which is gonna give you a desktop-like experience which I'm going to show you in a minute is completely amazing and gives you all kinds of uh, workspace functionality. Now, one more thing I want to show you guys over here on the phone is if you go close to the phone, if I pull down the uh, notifications panel, uh, you'll see some DeX uh, functionality. So you can see, uh, use your phone as a touchpad. So if I click on this, the phone actually transforms into a little touchpad and then you can use the phone uh, to use, uh, move the mouse uh, around on the actual monitor. But I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Bluetooth mouse, which you can connect to your phone. And once you connect it to your phone, you can use the mouse to control this desktop-like uh, environment. But anyway, other things you can do over here is you can tap uh, here to switch to screen mirroring. And of course, these options are going to actually show up in your notifications panel as soon as you connect this cable uh, to this end and the remainder of the cable into the HDMI import of this actual monitor, okay? So if I click on this one right over here, as you can see now, I actually have screen mirroring, okay? So this is an option you have as well, okay? That's great. But if you wanna use the Samsung DeX functionality, you want to actually tap here to switch to Samsung DeX that is gonna give you this uh, full Samsung DeX uh, desktop environment. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use this mouse, and again, this mouse, has been connected to this phone via Bluetooth. Very simple connection. All you do is you go into your Bluetooth settings right over here. Let me just go in, into the settings right here. And as you can see, my designer mouse from Microsoft over here is connected to this phone via Bluetooth. And that means I can use that mouse uh, to control this uh, uh, window. So let me show you, here's the mouse. I'm moving this around. And as you can see, let me just find it right there. There's a little mouse cursor that is moving around, okay? So anyway, let me change the focus onto this monitor here so you guys can see everything that, that you, you are capable of doing on this fantastic Samsung DeX setup. But again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a link to this cable down in the description box below so you can go buy it if you want to achieve this functionality. And again, to accomplish Samsung DeX, all you need is your, is your smartphone and a monitor and this cable. The mouse is extra. You can use the screen as a touchpad, as I just showed you a couple minutes ago. But it's nice to have a little $10 or $15 mouse. I'll drop a link to this kind of mouse down below as well. All right, so let's dive in and see all the functionalities of Samsung DeX of your Samsung LC S10 on this monitor. All right, so let's get started with Samsung DeX. So here it is. Um, quickly, I want to show you something real quick. Uh, if you click right-click on the mouse, you can go into the wallpapers for Samsung DeX. Then you can change your wallpapers from here. Uh, you can go to the gallery, you can go to default one, default two, default three. Let's just pick this one right over here and click home screen. And that's gonna give me a brand new wallpaper. And again, you can go to the gallery and change to any wallpaper that you please. And then other things you can do is you can go to the gallery over here, just launch it and actually go through all your photos. This is your complete photo gallery. You can go to the album, stories, shared, whatever you wanna do. You can minimize windows. They'll go down to the bottom over here, as you can see. I can hover over them and preview those windows. Now you can click on mail and that's my mail. I can actually connect a keyboard using Bluetooth as well and start to type emails over here if I wanted to. 
I can maximize this if I want to read the entire thing. And as you can see, you get the uh, full view. They can X out to close that window. I can, of course, go to YouTube. And then as you can see, here is the window. You can maximize this window by double tapping over here and then play this video, no problem. And if you want to play full screen, which a lot of people are going to be wondering, you can click over here, right here, and that's going to play the video full screen, which is absolutely fantastic. Something a lot of people are going to be wondering about. So let's uh, pause this for a second. Uh, let's uh, go to the top here. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Again, I can resize all these windows as if it was a Windows computer. I can move them around. I can have multiple windows running in the background, as you can see. So I have one, two, three windows running at the background. I can just minimize all of them. They'll get docked to the bottom row over here, uh, as you can see. Now over here, uh, we have our app drawer. So from here, I can access all my Android apps. And also, I can go to my apps for Dem Samsung Dex. When I click this, it gives me a list of apps to download, such as Hancom Office, Microsoft Word, that are fully optimized to work with Samsung Dex, no problem. But that does not mean that none of these apps don't work. So if I just launch the clock application, it's just going to work, no problem. Okay? So that's the bottom here. You have the recent apps. You've got the recent apps that are running, running over here. So that's your uh, multitasking window. As you can see, recents right over here. This is your home button, so it goes back to home. This is your back button. So if you were in the settings, if I were in Samsung Deck settings, I can click on back and they'll take me back one screen. So let me just put this down. I'm gonna come back to the settings in a minute. Over here, we have our notifications panel, our, our quick toggles. So here, row here is my quick toggles, just like it was on my phone when I pulled down my notifications panel. Now they're docked at the bottom here. I can tap on battery. That brings up my battery manager, all right? This is just great. And over here, I have my notifications, as you can see. So these are the same notifications you would see on your Samsung uh, Galaxy S10 Plus when you pull down the notifications panel. And then over here, we have the date, all right? Uh, when I click on it, it launches the calendar. I have the search functionality, all right? And I do have the, uh, if I click on this one, it's the uh, screenshot functionality. And I do want to let you know, when I go into the search functionality, uh, as you can see here, I can type something. Now, I can use my phone to type on this. The keyboard actually is available on the phone right now anytime I go to into an area that requires typing. But like I said, you can also connect a Bluetooth keyboard and make this happen as well. All right. So if I go to the, let's just go to the internet for a second. And if I were to go over here, again, the keyboard has popped up right now on the actual smartphone, but you can always connect your uh, Bluetooth keyboard here and start typing right over here. But right now, I'm just gonna use my phone to type, so let me just tap uh, ebay.com, and it's gonna go to that website, and I can browse this as if it was a regular desktop PC. Okay, so that's all fantastic. You've got your time date, your quick toggles, your control panel, everything is right over here at the bottom. You can minimize it or expand it if you want to. And then here we have our app previews. These are the running apps that I've minimized, all right? You can also access my files and just browse through your entire smartphone. You can go through the images. You can go through the, the videos that you have. You can go through the audio files that you have. Everything is available right here in your file explorer on the top over here. Now, if I go to the settings over here, we do have a bunch of Samsung DeX settings right over here. So if I click on it, you'll see we have the screen timeout for connected displays is set to five minutes. So for five minutes, this is gonna be on, but after five minutes, it's just gonna turn off. And then you have wallpapers, you have the screen resolution for Samsung Dex. You can do a uh, full high definition plus, which is 1080p, which is what this monitor is. But if you have a higher monitor, if you have a 2560 by 1440 monitor, you can go as high as that if you want. And here are all the other options that are possible. You can even go uh, almost 4K over here if you have that kind of monitor enabled. This monitor is 1080p, okay? So let's just click down over here. Uh, you have the keyboard settings, so I can on screen keyboard can be phone or the monitor. So now I can click on this button and the keyboard is gonna come right here. This is the on screen keyboard or you can use a Bluetooth keyboard. Go back, go to mouse and trackpad. Now, as you can see, I'm using my current mouse. This is it, this is not the trackpad on the phone, but an actual mouse I'm using. I can modify the settings over here. So it's just like a real big computer. 
And of course, a lot of people are wondering if I go over here and launch, let's just launch a Word document. So let's click on uh, Word over here. That's the Hancom office. And again, I can maximize this. Uh, let me see how to open a brand new file. Here, I can click on new and I can start typing as if I was typing on a Word document, all right? Hi, and I can make all these modifications. I can bold this, I can make the color different, I can underscore. This is just fantastic, okay? It's a fully functional word processing device right now. And of course, you can go back over here and you can actually uh, use Microsoft Word as well that I have not set up so far. Let's click allow, see what happens. And there we have a blank document. We do have to sign in to actually use this, but it can be used full screen, no problem, as you can see. So that's basically it. I think you get the full idea of what's going on over here. These are all your apps. You can modify your desktop. You can put apps in different locations. Uh, you've got this bottom bar, your control panel and everything, your recent apps. And remember, very important, download the apps for Samsung DeX right from here. Now, if I go over here, if I click apps for Samsung DeX, there is one game here, a couple games, Brutal Street 2 and Brutal Street 1 that you can probably play. But I, I bet you if you play any other game on Samsung DeX, it's going to play, but you're going to have to buy a Bluetooth controller to control them. So if I were to go over here, let me just launch one game. Let's launch this game right here. So this game is going to be playing. No problem. Let's uh, wait for it to load. And there it is. Okay, I can even click on stuff. I can click on play and everything. I can actually maximize this, uh, restart the app to maximize it. So I can actually play full screen games here, but you're going to have to buy some kind of controller to actually get this done. Let's just click X, click play, click over here, click next, and then click on this one, and then click play. Okay, that was a long process, but we're actually starting the game. So let's see how the game looks on this 1080p screen. Probably it's going to look amazing. Okay, so that's the game. That's the, that's the actual game. That's absolutely fantastic, all right? Take a look at this. I can press these buttons with my actual mouse. That's amazing, wow. All right, so I can actually play this game, no problem. Let's get some boost over here. Okay, so most games will actually play. And when I wanna exit out, just click X and you're good to go, all right? All right, so let's exit the game by clicking on X, and that's it. Now, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, just drop them down below and let me know, guys. Uh, for now, though, have a fantastic day. Uh, if you want me to show you something else on Samsung DeX, just drop those comments below. I'll make a video for you guys next time. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.